All right, Mike, this has been long and drawn out. So what I want, well, this transmitter is very, very limited. You cannot customize these switches to do much of anything. Um, so the first hack I've done is for the, um, where I want my throttle hold here, is I want this switch here, even Seth's throttle hold, right? What I want is I want that to have an, do something on channel 6. So what I, ha what I had to do in order to get that to work was I had to go into, let's see, if I go into flaps, I just set, the way I have mine set up, I set both of those to 100 right now. And then I also had to go into mix here. It's actually on mix two. Go to mix two. So I did this one on mix two. So on mix two, I did flap to flap active. And then on here, switch it says mix. And this switch here says, it's the mix switch, I guess, right? So I'm using that switch. If you look at mix, I end up going, I don't know exactly what I want, but I switched this to negative 125. What that did is when I hit this mix switch now, it actually mixes something into the flaps channel and gives me the effect I'm kind of looking for. Let me go back into monitor here. Let's see, monitor. All right, so now if you look at channel six, you'll see it's up kind of high, and if I throw that switch, it comes down. Stupid light. It doesn't come all the way down, but there's a, there's a change there, and apparently it's enough that Real Flight can see it. So, um, I'm, I'm going to be doing another video where I do this in Real Flight, but if you go into Real Flight, select the uh, virtual, select controller here, right, and I'm going to go edit. And here's, this is confusing, but the, the actual channel that says Smoke, Smoke, smoke is throttle hold on the uh, on the helicopters inside a real flight, and they didn't, they never. It's the smoke channel for airplanes, but when you switch to helis, it still says smoke, but it's actually throttle throttle hold, and that's coming in on channel six. So what I get now when I throw that switch, you can see the indicator there. I believe I actually have it backwards. Let me see if. Uh, Go back to the heli here. Yeah, it's backwards. So when I turn it on, the blade spins up. It should be opposite of that. So you just gotta go in here and I'll do that all when I do the actual sim video. So if I go back here again, right, edit. And then channel six, I'm just gonna un it's actually reversed in here. I'm gonna unreverse that. And then save. And then close. Now it's actually working right. So now if I throw the switch on, it kills the throttle. Turn it off. I get engine control. So that's that. Now I still got to do the mode switch and get the mode switch working right. I think that already puts out on gear, which doesn't work on helicopter mode, which is really extra confusing. So I might still have to go back and do this, what I just showed you but do that in airplane mode and not in heli mode so and the whole reason we're doing all this weirdness is it's a little bit different in real flight there's a software smart controller that makes it a lot easier if you set it up to begin with the way i'm doing it um, if you don't do it the way i'm doing it you gotta make a bunch of settings for all the, each model individually and what i'm doing will affect everything globally so ultimately i might have to go back and select a helicopter in the dx6i um, so that I can have the gear switch be available <laughs> um, for the, uh, the flight mode, since we the helicopter doesn't have a gear switch, so and the DX6i it doesn't anyway. So, next video, talk to you soon. All right, Mike. So as it turns out, I didn't have to do an airplane. We're still in. <laughs> I guess I made it an airplane all this time, so we'll just stick with it. Um, so I guess I'm, I'll bet we don't have the gear switch if we go into a heli mode. So I'm going to go back to my monitor. So since the last video, I've not done a thing. I just thought I was going to have to switch it to airplane to get the uh, to get the gear switch to work the way I wanted. But it's already working, and it's already set up as an airplane. So it'll work great. So now, what you want before you get 
you want your DXXI before you get into the sim, it should be like this, right? All four channels should work. So your throttle, which is the throttle is the very top one, the rudder, the fourth one down, and then these are those are just gonna, those are just going to work right out of the box. Uh, but we did with the, we got our throttle hold switch as the upper back right switch. That now gives you something on channel six that the simulator can work with. Uh, most simulators let you actually uh, adjust the range that it detects. Real flight does not, but we're lucky that's in the range that it can detect and it uses that. So uh, accuracy, I can say, oh, I want it to detect some little tiny range in here, and I can have five different mixes or whatever and get different five different flight modes, but not in real flight. So um, and then already just out of the box, the gear switch right here, which will be your flight mode switch. You have two flight modes, uh, regular flight and then 3D or idle up, they call it, where you have constant RPM here or full RPM. Constant full or constant wherever you end up setting it uh, in the helicopter itself. But So we're good to go. All six channels are doing what I want on here, and they're doing it on the switches that I'm used to. Um, Futaba and the real flight transmitter that you get with real flight, if you'd like, we're to buy one of these for 90 bucks. You know, this is the newest real flight. Uh, you know, they got their flight mode right here. It's a three-way switch. They got three flight modes. And then your throttle hold right back here. And they do it exactly like Futaba. So for me personally, I, I'm very used to that. So I like, I like it to work that way on my real transmitter. So flight modes here, just like the Futaba thing. And then throttle hold here. So... I hope that's not too far out of how you like it, but if you like it a different way, there's probably you can probably finagle it. Um, but you absolutely do not have, you know, like individual control of all these switches on this transmitter. They're very, they're very hard coded to do certain things, and some of them you can't control at all whatsoever what they do. And it's different whether you're in airplane mode or heli mode on here when you set up the aircraft. So uh, catch you in the simulator. Hey Mike, hey Mike, it's Steve. Steve. Uh, welcome, welcome to, to my messy desktop. Dot com. Um, so here's um, uh, I got the DX6i now plugged into the transmitter interface. Same thing you have. Uh, this is a fresh install of Real Flight 7. I've not done. In fact, I can't run any of the updates yet because uh, it needs your password to do that. So. Um, but it runs out of the box with no updates, so it's. 7.0 or whatever the original version was. Um, a little bit of mic pop there. I don't have a muffin on this one. It's a muffinless microphone. Um, so the first thing I do always when you first plug in any controller is do the Windows itself, native uh, joystick interface calibration. Um, some just search for a USB game usually will bring it up like that. And it should see your controller. Sure as heck does. Properties. So just come in here. Settings. Calibrate. It's going to do this routine. Right. Make sure your two sticks are centered as it says. And now what? I don't even see anything on here, but. Never tried it with this interface either. So next, leave it. Never had it not show anything, but I know it's kind of working. Yeah, this is kind of weird. So that didn't do anything. So I wonder. I don't think that matters. But no, it doesn't see anything in here. I've never seen it do that before. I'm pretty sure it's working in real flight. I'm going to go into real flight and make sure we see it in there. Yeah, real flight wouldn't even start if the interface wasn't there. 
This is completely default install of the box. Except for in my other video, I set up that one channel to make the throttle kill work on here. So we're going to go into select controller. It'll usually come up with the one that you've uh, that it detects first or that's plugged in. Um, when it first comes up, you, you can edit it, but you can't. You have to do a save as. So I just I just quickly said save as the XXI. Now it opens up and you know here's the one that it. I think it came up with this one interlink by default. But I did save as. So I got my own profile now basically. So um, so I'm gonna hit edit first. We'll come back and calibrate it in here. I'm gonna click edit and. I'm hitting my throttle right now. You can see RIT it's on the wrong channel. So I'm going to just switch that to throttle. So now I'm actually moving my throttle up and down. And then two should be elevator, which is not. I'm actually on the elevator here. So we want the ale. This is confusing, right? Because it says, what am I doing? Anyway. No, I'm just changing. I'm sorry. That's channel three. I'm confused. It's, it's late. It's after midnight. I'm tired. So that's the elevator. We still have our throttle working when I actually move the throttle up and down. I'm going to switch over to the rudder. The rudder's right, but it's backwards. So now it's moving right and left with the rudder. So throttle, rudder, elevator, aileron, left and right. Elevator. That was good. Elevator might be backwards. I'm not sure. Uh, channel 5 says flaps. We actually want that to be, I think we want that to be mode. Um, yeah, we want. The, so I'm actually on the um, on the DX6i, it says F mode gear. So that's actually ge the gear channel in the airplane mode that it's in. Um, so we want to change that to mode. Right? So now it's going to be toggle between two different flight, two different flight modes. And then smoke, we, that's the one I set up when I was on my phone, but I this is that flap channel, that mixed one that we did on channel 6, and I, I changed that to smoke. Um, and I'm going to hit save, and we'll try to see if it can fly. We'll throttle hold. Okay. We'll just see if I can hover it, or what channels are backwards, or what, see what we got. Rudder looks good. Yep. Yay! <laughs> so rudder rudder looked good. Oh, they went, this is stupid. You gotta push the button on the interface. That's gay. All right. Let's see if I can get this in the air again. Okay, so it looks like the looks like the aileron channel is backwards. So we'll try that. So we'll go back in here. I mean, this crap, you already know how to do. I think the, we got past the hard stuff already. Uh, so I'm just going to reverse, unreverse aileron. See if it's flyable now. It's hard to tell what it's doing. I'm going to... actually really hard to tell what's wrong. I'm going to reverse that elevator too in case it's that. Also it feels weird like I'm not getting much control. We also didn't calibrate yet. Once we get the channels right I'll calibrate it. But This is probably not the problem. It might be. So let's see if we can do that again. like seriously wrong. We'll figure it out here though. I'm going to go calibrate and come back. Unless something's really jacked. Maybe something's way, way off center.
<laughs> it's a lot better. <laughs> Something's still like wrong way though. Yeah, El Elrond's definitely backwards. See what that does for our parents. Yeah, it's flyable now. Go full screen on it. brand new out of the box. That's a little bit jacked. Let's try this. Switch that to uh, native stuff here. Um, sure, we'll do some vertical sync. I don't know if that'll mess with the re video recording too much or not. What do we got here? So toggle out of full screen, into full screen. Flight mode one, regular. I turned the sound on a little bit on the sim, hoping that. So that's regular flight mode. Obviously, this is. I think you got this far. I'm gonna get. I'm guessing you don't have the cool throttle hold function working like that, uh, but you will now. And I'm guessing you don't have the two flight modes. So if I try to go upside down, right? Um, I thought that was... I got the flight modes backwards. Didn't even realize it. So I'm going to switch... Yeah. So I just got to reverse the flight modes channel. And then we should have what you want. Or what I want. What we both... What we all want, man. That's the wrong screen. Um, back here again. And all I got to do is reverse the smoke. Save that. Just me, I feel like it was taking a while to save. Let's see that. Yeah, so now we got it's like regular flight mode. No, I actually reverse <laughs> what a goofball. I reversed the wrong thing. So so back here again, unreverse smoke. It was mode that we need to reverse, not smoke. And then see, back to full screen. If I can remember one of the keys will bring up the virtual transmitter display. Not sure which one. That one maybe. Yeah. Don't know where that belongs maybe right there in front of your face so on here on the screen you can see what I'm doing on the transmitter that's the throttle hold switch and then the flight mode switch here so throttle hold is off uh, it still isn't working right um, something screwed up I don't have fl I don't have flight modes working now It is working. Why am I that tired, Mike? Okay, so now I have. So you see this switch here? Yeah, it's flight mode. So that's normal flight mode. So that, why is it throttling up? Have I. So I've just not, I've not flown in normal mode so long, it's its working perfect. So I just literally move my throttle up. I'm not used to that, right? So that's probably how yours is set up. You can kind of fly around, right? You can do loops, but you can't, you can't throttle, you can't hover upside down. If 
you go if you go down too low on the stick, I don't think I have it centered quite right, but I'm, we're just using their normal curve, which I'm not used to. But if I throttle all the way down, it, it, yeah, it spins down. But if you go right, <laughs> I'm not even used to flying in that mode. So normal flight mode, I just never even use that anymore. I use, I'm stri strictly throttle hold switch when I want to power down. So I'm in idle up there, and I just hit the throttle hold switch when I want to throttle up. Alright, so now I can hover all day. Right hold and you can glide it in like a glider. I think that's about that. I think I'm going to go get some sleep. Talk to you later.